What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So this is Apple's new HomePod and today's video was originally supposed to be the usual unboxing, setup, and first impressions type of video. But unfortunately, I almost didn't get past the setup process for HomePod and I sort of wanted to talk a little bit about my troubles with setting this guy up and what I was able to do to finally get it to work. Now HomePod, of course, doesn't have any physical buttons or anything like that. All that's required for you to do at first is to just plug it in and it automatically powers up. From there, just grab an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch running iOS 11.2.5 or later, and when you hold your device close to HomePod, in my case it was the iPhone 10, the usual Apple setup screen appears, similar to what you see on AirPods. And that should guide you through the whole process and get everything connected and working. The first screen shows the HomePod is ready to be set up, the second screen asks where the speaker is located, but when I got to the next screen, nothing. Just a blank white page. I figured maybe HomePod needed to connect to the Wi-Fi network or do something with the phone for for a second, but I waited and waited and nothing happened. So I canceled setup and tried again, but still got the blank white screen. And at this point, I took the usual troubleshooting steps. I unplugged HomePod and plugged it back in. I even tried a different power outlet. I restarted my phone, reset the network settings on my iPhone, reset the Wi-Fi and router settings in my house since the speaker connects to Wi-Fi. I thought maybe it was having trouble with my network. I also tried setting it up in the Home app on the phone directly, but through all those things, I still got nowhere. I couldn't get past the second screen on setup. Apple products 99% of the time are really easy to set up, and if there's a problem, you usually get a screen that explains the issue. So I genuinely figured at this point that this HomePod was defective or had some sort of software or wireless connectivity issue. But as my last ditch effort, I took to Twitter and found that a few other people were also having this blank screen issue and couldn't get past it. So I was sort of glad to see that I wasn't the only one at least with this issue, but also a little disappointed that this seems to be a decent problem. Fortunately, one person figured out that it wasn't an issue with the HomePod, but actually an issue with the iPhone 10. He tried setting it up on an older device and got through. So naturally, I did the same. I grabbed an iPhone 6S Plus, went through the process again, and sure enough, the HomePod finally got set up with no issues. After the HomePod was set up, I could use it just fine with my iPhone 10, since it's all under the same iCloud account, and the speaker isn't connected to one dedicated phone. So there's no problems there at least, but at this point, I still can't figure out what the problem was with the iPhone 10 specifically. As far as just getting past the white screen problem during setup, if you're experiencing that issue and you're using an iPhone 10, it seems like the only solution at this point is to just use a different device. I realize that's not a very good solution since A, some people don't have a second device they can use, and B, the HomePod should probably just work with Apple's latest $1,000 smartphone to begin with anyway. Also, there might be some issues with the Home app and iCloud if the second device you're using isn't under the same account with proper home permissions, so keep that in mind as well when you're going through setup. I'm sure this isn't happening on all iPhone 10s since a vast majority of people had no problem setting everything up. And I'm not necessarily making this video to complain or criticize, it is what it is. I'm hoping more than anything that this video helps anyone who might be stuck too, and hopefully Apple notices this issue, whatever it is, if it's even an issue at all, and fixes it soon. If you guys have any other questions on the setup process or on the HomePod itself, definitely let me know in the comments below and maybe we can help each other out. I'm still, of course, going to make a review on the HomePod and see what it's all about, so be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.